Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Battlefield 2042 video. In this one, we're going over what we know on Hazard Zone, with small tidbits being released all the time. Plus, we're looking at some of the gadgets in-game that have been leaked and other things as well. So let's jump into it. So Hazard Zone is a major selling point for the new Battlefield, although it's not been revealed yet and very little info exists on it, but we do know some little bits of info. The release window, for example, and I've seen quite a lot of people ask when Hazard Drone releases, and also they've been asking, does it arrive on launch of the game? Well, in the EA Live presentation, it was revealed that Hazard Zone won't be coming on launch, with it being stated in the video later in the year. And then we still have Hazard Zone coming later this year? On top of that, you have the recent delays to the game, and it's almost certainly going to be pushed into the next year. Something to boost those first quarter earnings, and a brand new possible free-to-play game mode will certainly do that. Okay, well, what is Hazard Zone then? Is it a battle royale? No, it's not a battle royale. There definitely won't be any shrinking fire or gas or any of the traditional BR elements to it. Is it PvE? Well, maybe, but then again, maybe not. So here are the facts that we know starting off with the pre-match. In pre-match, you can equip a loadout and tactical upgrades. There will be a game mode currency called Dark Market Coins that allows you to purchase certain things like loadout insurance, where you get to keep your loadout if you die in game and other useful upgrades. There are 12 known tactical upgrades known so far, but you can't freely choose from them at the start as they are tiered, with higher tier perks only becoming available if you have a high enough streak count. Streaks are how many times you can successfully complete Hazard Zone without dying, and higher streaks unlock higher rewards like access to better upgrades, discounts, and possibly more rewards for dark market coins and XP. So after you've set up your loadout, you will be briefed and then inserted into the map via the little bird. It's also looking likely that Hazard Zone won't have its own exclusive maps, but rather play on the regular maps in game so far, at least to start with. Once in the map, players are tasked with doing missions like collecting intel from data drives and searching crashed satellites. You will have access to a scanner in game that will reveal the locations of intel and possible locations of enemies with intel, but it does need time to charge in game so you can't use it all the time. Also located in the map will be points of interest including ammo stations and uplinks where you can call in support as well as retrieve vehicles. There are bots in game that will attack you, teams of soldiers including bosses that will try to kill you in the hazard zone, and it's these bosses that will potentially drop intel, but they may also have good loot on them as well. But enemies might not be the only hazard in the hazard zone. Previous battlefields haven't been too shy in large scale map changing destruction events that pose a hazard, and leaked game files have suggested that this will be the case in Battlefield 2042. Also there is rumoured to be new elemental damages in game, cold, electricity, storm damage, toxic and radiation all linked to different environmental hazards, I'm sure. But all of the hazards in Hazard Zone are still a little unclear. Well, once you have finished in the Hazard Zone then, you have to leave to get your reward and keep your loot. And this is done via extraction zones, which are landing zones for helicopters which can be claimed and activated. Be careful though, as you can miss your extraction helicopter and fail your mission. Successful extractions will start to build your streak multiplier, and then you can head off into the next Hazard Zone with better loot. So guys, it's not a BR, it's more of a Division Dark Zone kind of thing, but it's unclear if it's going to be PvE or not. It would be pretty cool, to be honest, if you have missions to do, but you also have to avoid other real-life teams who are doing their own missions, but missions that will overlap in the same areas. And of course, you can steal intel from other teams. And don't forget, you will have to battle out for extraction zones as well. So nothing has been officially announced yet. Everything we know so far is from leaks and there's still plenty of holes in the information, but it is looking more and more likely this will be how Hazard Zone will work. And also it's rumored to be story driven as well, like how Warzone has a story each season in game and Hazard Zone is expected to be the same way. So interesting, and I can't wait to find out more on the game mode. Next then guys, a quick look at the known gadgets available in Battlefield 2042. Not confirmed as the only gadgets, but just the ones we know so far. The gadgets include in one category, the medical crate, supply crate, anti-tank mine, repair tool, the FEM-33AA missile, SOFLAM, which is kind of like a mortar, the navigation beacon, and the recoil is M5. There are also another choice of gadgets that include the frag grenade, incendiary, EMP, smoke grenade, C4, and the proximity sensor. And like I said, more could still be added to that list. Yesterday, the regular PS4 edition had removed the beta as a pre-order bonus for the game on the listing in the PlayStation Store, but it's been confirmed to just be a store error, and you will in fact be able to play the beta if you pre-order on PlayStation 4. 
So guys, that is it for today's Battlefield 2042 news. Don't forget to like the video, it helps me out a lot, and stay tuned for more Battlefield updates and news as they happen. I will be back as soon as we have any more info for the game. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.